Hello, I'm Chris. In this video, we're going to have a look at how to pull up on the right hand side of the road, reverse for two car lengths, and rejoin the traffic. Despite the highway code advising not to park against the flow of traffic, it's an exercise that you could get asked to carry out on your driving test and one that you might find necessary to do in the future. The Driver and Vehicle Standards Agency have published on their blog some examples of where and when you might carry out this manoeuvre. These include parking restrictions on the left, but space to park on the right, or parked vehicles on the left, but availability to park on the right. But it's still recommended and best practice to pull up on the left where possible. Whatever your opinions are on this manoeuvre, to be ready for years of safe driving and the driving test, you'll have to practice it lots with your instructor. On your driving test, the examiner will be looking for good observation, accuracy and control. So let's have a look at how to do it. While you're driving, if the examiner wants you to carry out this manoeuvre, they'll say, pull up on the right when it's safe to do so, please. It's up to you to choose where a safe and legal place is. Choose carefully, just like you do when you pull up on the left. Here's some examples of where you shouldn't pull up. If you're on a tight road, then not opposite parked vehicles, as it could make the road a bit tight. Don't want to block driveways, not close to or opposite a junction, or on a bend. Don't stop at a bus stop, or where there's any other parking restrictions or it's unsafe. If possible, look for a large space and try not to stop where there's a parked vehicle in front, as it will restrict your view when you need to pull out again. And be ready to stop for oncoming vehicles as you're going to be crossing to the other side of the road. Let's have a look at this manoeuvre step by step. I'm going to pull up just on the right there. Check my mirrors. Blind spot check. Signal right. Position just left of the centre of the road. Stop for any oncoming vehicles. If I did stop and wait, I'd have to recheck my mirrors and blind spot again before moving over to the other side of the road, just in case anything's changed. I'm turning early to the right and gradually, so I'll give myself space on the right to get the car straight. When the curb goes into the car roughly at this point, I'll steer left to get the back of the car in. Now I know that if the curb goes any more to the left of this point, I'll hit it, which is something I definitely don't want. I now just need to keep the curb lined up with this reference point and I'll be reasonably close to the curb. Now the car's straight, I'll straighten the steering. Driving alongside the curb allows the car to become straight. Getting the car and wheels straight is important as it will especially help for when you have to reverse. Now I've stopped, I'll put the parking brake on, select neutral and cancel the signal. Once you've stopped, the examiner will say, I'd now like you to reverse back for about two car lengths, keeping reasonably close to the curb. Firstly, prepare the car to reverse. Clutch down, select reverse, check ahead for any oncoming vehicles. If there are, then just wait for them to pass. Check the blind spot on the right, right hand mirror, interior mirror, left hand mirror, blind spot on the left, and rear window. All safe, release the parking brake, and using clutch control to reverse very slowly. Bear in mind that the road might not be completely flat. You might need to brake a little, or give it a slight amount of gas if going uphill. To keep reasonably close to the curb, I'm lining the curb up with this point on the rear window. If the road is straight, then keep the steering to a minimum. If you do need to steer, 
Then steer in the direction you want the back of the car to go. Steer right to get closer to the kerb, left to go away. But little adjustments, as you don't want to touch the kerb or go too far from it. The mirror on the right might also help you see the kerb, but don't stare at it as you should mostly be looking out of the rear window. Drive slowly, as you'll also need to keep a lookout for cyclists or any pedestrians crossing the road. Stop for any approaching road users that are near you. If you do need to stop, then look all around again before continuing to reverse. Vehicles or pedestrians might also come out of driveways, so keep observing. Stop once you've reversed roughly two car lengths. Parking brake on and into neutral. The examiner will then ask you to drive on when you're ready. Prepare the car. Make sure there isn't any oncoming. Then all round checks from right to left and blind spot on the left. Signal and move off only when it's safe. If there's another vehicle in front, then creep out very slowly, observing lots ahead and behind. Once you can see it's safe, accelerate to get back to the left hand side of the road, check again after. That's how you do the manoeuvre, but what happens if another vehicle pulls up behind you and stops you reversing back? If this happens, then the manoeuvre won't be completed and the examiner will ask you to drive on and you'll have to do another exercise later in the test. Before you move off, as the vehicle behind is now blocking your view out of the rear window, it's a good idea, once it's safe, to drive forward a little to help you see. What if another vehicle pulls up in front of you when you're on the right hand side of the road? Well the exercise will continue, but the vehicle in front might block your view ahead and it might be necessary to reverse a little further to improve your view. If you're unable to reverse any more and the vehicle is still blocking your view, then the examiner will control the situation and give appropriate advice. Be careful when moving off as it will be hard to see. Creep carefully, observing ahead and behind, looking through the windows of the other car to get a better view. Once you can see it's safe, speed up to get back to the left hand side of the road. What if I'm about to hit the kerb when I'm reversing? Well, firstly, definitely don't wait until you've touched the kerb. Just observe all around, and if it's safe, pull forward slightly, readjust, stop, observe all around, including the rear window, and try reversing again. Okay, okay, what if you've pulled up on the right hand side of the road in a nice large empty space to post a letter, you return back to your car and someone's parked a big van in front of you and a nice Lotus behind and you're on your own with no one to assist you as you've passed your test. Well this is a bit more risky and the main reason why I wouldn't recommend pulling up on the right hand side of the road unless it's really necessary or it's a one way road, because it can be really hard to see oncoming vehicles. I'll open the passenger window, as I might be able to hear another vehicle, or I wouldn't hear a cyclist. When it's safe, I'll reverse as much as I can first to get a slightly better view. I can see a little bit better, but not much. I've got the car prepared, check my mirrors, blind spot, signalling left as it will help me be seen. I'll have to creep forward really slowly. I'm leaning to the left trying to get a better view. Using the reflection of that blue car really helps. 
but stopping if I see something nearby. Checking my mirrors, blind spot, as well as ahead. If the vehicle in front had windows, I could look through those, but here I can't see much at all. Checking my mirrors and ahead, I can see, and it's safe to go. That's a brief guide to pulling up on the right hand side of the road, reversing two car lengths, and rejoining traffic manoeuvre. Definitely a manoeuvre I'd avoid whenever possible. Thanks a lot for watching our video. As always, it's highly recommended that you practice with a qualified driving instructor. Keep safe on the road and see you on the next video.